Yo, what's going on guys? Have you know? Bang! Ah yes, finally. After so many episodes of Mythbusters for Brawl Stars and Clash Royale, we're gathered here today for Clash of Clans Mythbusters. As always, feel free to comment your own myths down below in the comment section. Comments I do use always get featured, so um, uh, yeah, just drop them down below. So, let's get right into it. Let's do this. <laughs> If the master builder is upgrading a building in the home village and a regular builder opens up, they'll swap positions. Myth confirmed. Okay, they literally meant he's the sixth builder. He's the last one, okay? If you have something free, he won't do squat. Of course, with the exception of gearing up a building. This one actually surprised me a bit because I didn't think the attention to detail went this far. But since he's just an extra builder, it makes sense for him to step down once someone else is available because he's supposed to help. He's not an actual builder in the home village. The more you know, because I didn't know this. Myth. Today's sponsor is Lord of Heroes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm running out of ways to slip these in. Don't hate me. Myth confirmed. That's right, the new kid in town is Lord of Heroes, a free to play animation RPG taking place in a fallen world that you, yeah, you, have to revolutionize with deckness. If the amazing graphics and effects haven't caught your eye, surely the collection of nearly 50 nights and the sizzling hot storyline will. I mean, really, I felt like I was playing a game, watching Netflix, reading a book, and dreaming all at the same time. Whoa! And unlike other games, you can recruit any character with a 100% chance. This is the most chill and free-to-play game I've ever played. The term base controls are very familiar, so it'll be easy to hop in and enjoy right off the bat, control regions, fight bosses, collect loot, and upgrade your character up to star 6. Like god dang! If you guys want to check out the game, make sure to download it using the link down below. And uh, yeah, thanks again to Lord of Heroes for sponsoring this video. So, back to the video. Myth. If you're a Town Hall 2, you can't send friend requests. Confirmed. Let me rephrase this. If you're a Town Hall 2, you can't have friends. Wow, that's uh, that's depressing. I'm not sure if it's a glitch or if it was meant to be that Town Hall 2s can't have friends yet because they're too small, I don't know. <laughs> but basically, the friend request will never send. It doesn't let you. Honestly though, you're only a Town Hall 2 for like 5 minutes. So just try again when you're done upgrading that level 1 cannon and uh, you're done. Myth. If you start upgrading something while your builder is jumping over a wall, the builder will teleport to the building. Myth confirmed. Okay, this was actually hard to show because the upgrade screen takes up about 90% of my screen. I, I mean, I don't know, but I got it. Well, kind of. I created sort of a testing round here, and then I let the builder walk for his hut surrounded by walls because if there's walls in a line, he'll just go around. But if you do it in a box, he'll have to jump toward it. And then as soon as he jumped for his hut, he teleported to the upgrade. One second he was there, the next he was over there. Now you can't see him teleport, but calm down, I tried my best. You can clearly see him just appear to the upgrade all of a sudden. He wasn't near it, so he just teleported. It's really weird. Myth. The super lawbreaker will ignore walls if there's no defenses near it. Myth confirmed. They aren't called super for no reason, eh? Basically, the super wall breakers are just smarter. If there's no buildings in a compartment, why would you blow up the walls in that compartment? What are you going for, right? Well, the wall breakers don't know this. 
and the super wall breakers are big brain. As we can see here, the super wall breakers completely ignored this compartment here because there was nothing in it, but when we deployed regular wall breakers, they just went for the nearest wall. Well, at least one of them. There's nowhere in the game that tells you this, and I didn't even know this myself. I've been using these for a while, and I didn't even notice. So, yeah, this one deserved a spot in the video. Myth. The giant cannon's ball will travel forever. Myth busted. I actually recently just mentioned this in one of my facts videos and basically some people believe the cannonball travels forever because you can't see it stop. Like, obviously if you can't see it stop, then it must travel forever. And you know, it sounds pretty logical. But that's not the case. The reason they believe this is because if the giant cannon is in the middle of the base, there's a high chance it'll just go off the map and you won't see it again. But if you position the giant cannon on one edge of the map and it starts to shoot onto the other side, you'll actually see it disappear somewhere in its path. Myth. If you have a troop upgrading in the laboratory and upgrade the laboratory, the upgrade gets cancelled. Myth busted. This myth is older than cheese. I mean, I remember hearing this when I was a kid. <laughs> wow, it's it feels weird to say when I was a kid, but I was still making YouTube as a kid. And here I am today. Anyways, I remember being a kid and being afraid to upgrade the laboratory because I had something upgrading, so I thought I'd lose everything. Like all my resources. What really happens is the upgrade gets put on hold. So when the laboratory is done, the upgrade will continue. So don't worry, you won't lose the upgrade or the resources. It'll just continue on later. Myth. There are a couple hammers hiding in the rocks in the builder base. Myth confirmed. After so many years, someone has to tell me for me to even notice this. What else am I missing? But then again, who's out here looking at the rocks? I mean, you have to be really bored to be just looking at rocks. It appears as though there's some old hammers the builder once used and probably just lost. It's a pretty cool easter egg. I really love easter eggs and definitely let me know if you guys find any more hidden things in the game. Myth. In a multiplayer battle, if you drop no troops and smells and let the time end, which is about 3 minutes, it will show you defeat. Myth confirmed. Yeah, of course, I find a base with a lot of loot at the wrong time. Like, I literally have no troops. <laughs> God, the Supercell gods hate me. Anyways, after you sit there for three minutes, it'll say you lost the match, but when you go back to check for the battle, it doesn't exist. Basically, the match never happened, and it's just showing you the lost screen because it has nothing else to show you. So guys, that should be it for this video. This is the first episode of the series, as you guys have seen. I think I have like 10 or 11 episodes for each game right now, like Brawl Stars and Clash Royale. So if you guys want more of these videos for Clash of Clans, let me know down below and just comment down your myths. Don't worry, I do scroll through the comments and look for myths, so you don't have to worry about that. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a gaming out. Peace.